Well, good morning, gang. Here I am at uh, King's Polo Club in um, just outside Cairo in Egypt. And uh, this is a work in progress, and I'm very blessed to be a part of creating this amazing place in the middle of the desert. You can see this wonderful green field behind me in the middle of, an, uh, of miles and miles of sand. I'm upstairs here in the clubhouse, um, so let me just quickly show you um, what is around. So behind me um, here are the doors of the clubhouse. It's locked at the moment. This is a work in progress, unfortunately, um, and it's a little bit of a construction site, but it's going to be amazing. And uh, the clubhouse here is going to be obviously where we come off to polo and uh, drink a few suds and uh, have all those lovely after polo discussions about ah, was that a foul or wasn't it and look what you did to me over there and uh, man you nearly crashed me over here you know all the usual old stuff but um, you will know that in the desert there's lots of wind so as I walk around the corner here you will see the um, hidden away is the barbecue area so really looking forward to spending a lot of time up here after polo now behind me here is the new stick and ball area and uh, that is going to be also um, just a really nice place to sit here and have a look at people practicing down below us here and as I've said as I turn here there are the polar fields behind us with a great view so we're upstairs here but I just wanted to touch on the subject of why do I coach because I'm asked that question often, what, what made you stop playing and start coaching? Well, to be honest, the, the stopping playing um, was because I had to stop playing. I had a bit of a crash and uh, that, that uh, kind of made it difficult to carry on competing at the level I was. But um, even as a young person, you know, um, I've always been somebody that I've, I've been absolutely blessed. Um, to be given the ability to see little bits of um, a swing or a horse moving. I don't see it in its entirety. And what I'm always looking for is to um, find the inhibiting factor, change one thing at a time and progress that way because I see um, a wrist that's wrong or um, a wrist that's working too early or a mallet head that's starting in the wrong place or a horse moving its feet incorrectly in a turn um, the head is in the wrong place whatever and uh, I, I've been so blessed that I, I see all of that you know my mother always used to say to me Gavin you should be a teacher and I said over my dead body they don't get paid and uh, here I am, and I've ended up a teacher, but uh, teaching what I love. So very fortunate uh, in that respect. But I think that with all my coaching, um, the thing that's at the back of my mind is to be honest with myself, because so many people, you'll hear them saying, oh, you know what, I love doing something for other people. Um, they're not being honest with themselves in that. What they are saying is, that it brings them joy to do something for other people because remember you will never do anything in life that's not for yourself and uh, that that's the first thing that I'm, I'm really honest about that all my coaching and I love helping the guys out there I love seeing the difference I make but that makes a difference to me and to be honest um, to get the feedback from guys that builds my ego and and it really makes life living um, a, a, a happy place to be because I'm getting all this positive affirmation from the people I'm coaching so that's number one um, one of the reasons that I coach and yes I do I love making a difference and utilizing this wonderful gift I've been given and uh, the biggest thing that in my coaching what I'm trying to do all the time is to simplify because you can add in as much as you want but the problem is you only make things more complicated and by simplifying um, you really actually help people a lot more and uh, I, I think if you kind of look at uh, the professional golf circuit for example and you see the clinical um, minimal movement swing that most of the pros have and then you go and look at an amateur swinging and he's all over the place his body's moving his club is all out of plane and there's so many moving parts, there's no way that he's ever going to be able to be clinical and repetitious in that swing. 
so you have to simplify and take away rather than add and there's a lovely story of a guy standing chipping away at a block of marble and he's got this guy um, watching him do it and at the end um, he has this amazing angel standing and this guy who's watching says to the sculptor he says how the hell did you do that and the guy said oh, it's easy really you just take away everything that's not angel so um, that that's very much how I um, approach my coaching I'm always going back to basics and taking away and taking away and taking away and going back to an underhand takeaway that you can feel for example in your swing feel that lovely swing arc and feel how to keep your arms straight before you start the overhand swing because that's a simplifying of the swing taking that mallet back in the right place and getting it into the right place at the back of the swing is crucial to making the swing but if you're not going to pay attention to the basics and take away all that um, the, the mallet falling over you um, behind your back or it's starting outside the plane to the right of you on that offside forehand and now you're scooping the forehand all those things are extra moving parts so why do I coach I coach because number one um, it keeps me fit and it keeps me riding and it keeps me vibrant even at this ripe old age of 67 um, the, 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 all my kids call me the old codger now so um, but it does it keeps me fit and and for that I'm really grateful it uh, keeps me um, in contact with uh, people playing polo and uh, I'm always watching the better players, listening to them and, and still learning and getting more about my coaching. So that's an, an absolute plus. But I really enjoy the difference that I make to teams, to players. And all of that gives me such a, a, a reason to get up in the morning. And uh, I love doing what I do. So um, those are all the reasons that I do coach. So anyway, hope that answers that question and uh, I'll see you around the corner.